Group Iron Man is out in Old School RuneScape and I have teamed up with a friend aka Dovidas, Dark World Order, Max Nick and Death Rangers and first I want to say that yes I know this is a shift in content for a while but I hope you guys will all enjoy the journey and I'm super excited to get stuck into this. How I have decided to structure these videos is mostly like normal progress videos but uh, with clips now and then including the other group members as well you will see what I mean throughout the video. Remember to like the video if you liked it but let's get started. This whole plan is just who can fish the most caram ones? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> okay, a friend. Guess, it's, it's we, got to, we got to do an episode where it's like <laughs> I fished more caram ones and then a friend. All of them Oh, you did. Okay. We're oh, cool. we have. Oh, we have. I, I can change. I'll change my name once I put a bond oh. on the account. Yeah, Pink we're all good. Is offline. I, I like it. Oh which, no! Which shot colors are available? So. Uh, let me message him. I just want to see if nothing glitches out because uh, a lot of things glitched well, out I'll in the beginning. Him, I'll I've heard a lot of people have been glitching out. I did see that. Did Wait, it say anything? anything? Well, can I, I heard can some I people like start? They start the group and like everyone gets forced logged out. I've heard that. What? Dude, yeah, well, like losing. He's he's in the group at the minute. It's creative. Yeah, it, so it still says fine. he's in the group, so it should yeah. be fine. But I I don't know. Wait, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, he's uh, here. What this fuck? plate say something. Out loud, so can I do? Oh, and maybe uh, I need to add a friend. Oh my god, I didn't add as a friend. Yeah, it's an arrow. Uh, are we not? Are we not in a group already now? So we should we be. I think we're all in a group. We're all in a group, but we haven't like gotten off the island. Oh, yet. I have it. I have it. I have it. I have it. It's from uh, right, like the group tutor, group iron tutor, which is in the middle. What is it? He's close. Oh, he's yeah. close to the armor crates. You can. Oh just... yeah, we got a five on our chest. We get van braces as well. What the hell? Yeah, yeah van random, braces. Isn't it? What? Is it? Bit, bit strange. Dude, they're called yeah. iron van braces. That's uh, <laughs> that's new. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go through then. Yeah, go, go, all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Go. Wait. Oh. 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 Guess not. oh, we all have to do it. Oh, I have to go through. Okay. Oh yeah, we're through now. I got. I got. Oh, six. I'm in. I'm in. oh yeah. What? Oh. Oh. Oh my god, I got a random event. Maze. Holy oh, shit, dude. <laughs> Wait, already? Yeah, that's the best one. You got the best one at the start. Dude, hey, there's no way. Oh, like oh wait, I got a, I got the uh, event as well. I got a, oh my god, I got an uncut emerald already. I got oh my. As well. Let's fight. We, all, we all got the mysterious 240 one. What? Split five ways. <laughs> oh god. The first thing I want to do is I want to get 25 agility for two main reasons. The first one is the Grand Tree has that requirement and that is a quest I want to do in the kind of near future. As well as we actually checked what the difference was on agility levels and how fast your run speed actually gets restored. And at the one agility it takes 12 minutes for it to restore from 1 all the way to 100. On 25 it takes about 6.5 minutes. So it's basically halved which is going to help a lot if I'm going to run around the area a lot. Which I am definitely going to do in the early game so i thought it would be a good starting point for the account somebody put one cooked shrimp in the uh, bag. <laughs> <laughs> <Not me. laughs> thank you so much for the homies man damn man <laughs> thank you dude <laughs> oh i got the casket nice dude, guys all right all right here we go first full scroll here we go okay let's see one two three I got black plate legs, a coif, and 38 air runes. <laughs> oh no. Random event. These are always very interesting in the beginning of an account because what you get can matter a lot. You can get some really useful items like gems and stuff like that. So let's see what I get from Prison Pete. I got some herbs, toad flax. They're probably not very useful for anything, but uh, I got some of them. Working on 50 fire making right now for Winter Toad, and uh, I'm going to see how crowded this teak tree is at the Castle Wars area. Oh god, there's a lot of people already here. I guess a lot of people are doing this method for getting 50 fire making for Winter Toad. Oh uh, well, I guess I'm going to try it and see how good it is. So the experience for cutting one tree is I think 85, so let's see when I actually cut it, so yeah 85 and it cuts pretty fast and then burning one log is 105 fire making compared to oak which is only like 60 experience, so I guess this is a bit more afk, a bit slower, but uh, yeah more chill. A beginner clue, I can probably complete that, but by the way the easy clue you saw before actually was only two steps and both of them was on Seiya that I was already at, so that was very lucky. 
was doing the beginner clue and thought I might as well complete the Varric Museum as well for 9 Slayer and Hunter. Very easy experience. The wheat actually makes the HD client lag a lot, so that is kind of annoying. But uh, first beginner clue is going to be... Oh, we got a unique Rune Scimitar Ornament Kit. Wait, that's actually kind of cool because we will probably use a Rune Scimitar for the early game, all of us. So we could share that cosmetic. An update on the group storage, uh, Dovidas actually did the Rune Mysteries quest pretty early, so he got us 252 Rune Essence, we will need that all for Priest in Peril when we want to go to Canafis, like do the uh, agility course in Canafis at 40 agility and stuff like that, so uh, very nice supplies right now. Why did I not think of this? You can just go to raids, you can get an ice demon in the first room, and you can actually get pretty fast fire making experience. I think like 50,000 an hour or something like that. It's very nice experience. So I'm just going to do that all the way to 50 instead of teaks. Basically, you just drop all the kindlings, which actually are cut very fast. You cut them like one or three at a time on my level, I think. And you just drop them in a pile, take one, burn them, and you get almost the same experience as a teak log. So this is a lot faster than that method. Last one before 50. Let's uh, burn this kindling and then we are off to Winter Todd. And the experience there is truly amazing. I don't know what the experience per hour is on 50, but definitely a lot faster than this. Obligatory house buying as well with the 1.6k that I have to get construction experience meanwhile doing winter toll as well by repairing the braziers. One singular game got me almost 17,000 fire making experience and of course the supply crates as well. I will save these and get some other levels as well before I open them. I only personally had like 10 cakes in my bank and I used up all that food with the winter toad and then I was going to go to the bank, the group storage. And I check Discord and I see a message from Dark World Order saying this. If you get on early, the bank is empty. Grace got everything. We're just pulling a prank on a friend for the content. So I'm mining here to get my levels up because I don't have any food for Winter Toad. And I need those levels anyways. I think 39 mining to be able to get the best ores from the crates. And I have to get some other skills up as well. But uh, I will show you guys the group storage in a bit. It is actually not entirely empty. So what do we have in the group storage right now? Well, one caramban. One singular cooked caramban. My last coins going to a steel pickaxe that I'm probably going to use all the way to 39 on iron around Varrock. I actually have one charge in my chronicle so I can teleport right away to that area. Pretty much the oldest mechanic in the game, but uh, I'm going to just hit this dummy for 5 attacks so I can actually equip the steel pickaxe, saving an inventory slot, because I do want to bank some of the iron ore. Taking a small break here, actually at 30 mining, to do a couple of small useful quests, for example, the uh, druidic ritual is a must, 3 herb lore as well, I think you can get some herb lore experience, very minor though, at winter toad, so I thought that would be a good unlock, and now I'm going to do sea slug. Everything is back in the storage and this is what it looks like. We almost got 50k and Dark World Order is doing Agility Pyramid I think. So he's going to uh, stack up on a lot of money here and I can get some runes, train magic in the future with that. Very nice. Also a lot of cakes, I can do more Winter Todd as well as the Swamp Paste which uh, I need for the Sea Slug quest. The higher level your fishing is, the higher chance you have of getting the more rare fish. The higher levels like sharks and lobsters and stuff like that, swordfish. So that is why I completed this and that is from 1 to 12. 24 fishing in like two minutes also getting my crafting up a bit to get some more high level gems So I don't only get sapphires and murder mystery done for 1.4k crafting also 2,000 coins That is very nice 11 crafting and I do want to get that a bit higher So I might go to charter ships and see if I can buy some uh, buckets of sand and soda ash I do not want to spend too much time on this So I just made 100 time to make them into molten glass and blow them and let's see what we're going to end up at 22 crafting should be good enough. I don't know exactly what the drop rate increases are, but I just wanted to get better than level 1, so 22 is good enough. Also, I have to get the last things, 5 construction to get a bit more experience in construction from the brazier repairing, and then 39 mining. And then after that, I will just get 50 woodcutting on doing Winter Todd, and that is when you can receive the magic logs that we will all need for Desert Treasure. So that's pretty much all I need before I can get into it. I might as well complete the mini quest that is home for the construction levels. It should give me like overall a thousand experience from building all these things plus the quest rewards. So that definitely will be, well, I'm already five. So I'm probably going to get like eight or nine. 
You also get this Marlos crate which you can open and you actually get a decent amount of stuff that I'm probably going to put into the uh, the group bank because these house teleports could be good for Remington teleports. So now it's just 39 mining and then it's straight to Winter Todd and I'm going to be there until a 50 wood cutting and then just open all the crates. I'll probably get like 70 fire making ex as well. The experience there is just so insane. So that should be nice for the entire group, but I'm going to end the video here. If you did like the video, remember to like it, subscribe if you want to see the future progress that we're going to make. We have some insane plans and I hope I can make some good content on it. That is my goal. Have a good one, guys. Take care.